On a previous video, I did a review of the 70My A800 4K dash cam and compared it to the 70My Pro. And in this follow-up video, this will just be a look at the external controls and the menu system. Unfortunately, the LCD display is quite shiny and that causes reflections. I've used a polarizing filter to try and cut down the glare and hopefully you should still be able to see the menu sufficiently. On the outside we have slots for the power supply, the rear camera and the SD card up to 128 gig. On the other side there's a power button. There are four buttons here which I'll explain in a minute. Underneath there's a light and there's the rotating camera. Turning it on requires a long push of the power button. It comes into life. The light underneath, we want that to be green. If it's green, it means the, the camera is on and it's recording. If it's red, there's some kind of an error. If it's blue, it's on, but it's not recording. So if I go into the, the gallery, go into front camera video, you'll see the light's blue. That means the, the device is on, but it's not actually recording. When it's on and recording, these four buttons become active. So this one here is for the microphone. The default setting is that the, the sound isn't recorded. So if you press this, it tells you audio recording is on and press it again to turn audio recording off. This one here is for your emergency videos. Under normal conditions, it saves files to the, the normal folder and they just get overwritten all the time. If you want to save a file, press that button and two things will happen. Firstly, it will increase the video length by 30 seconds. So if, you're, if your video is already at two minutes and you press it, you'll get a two minute, 30 second video. And it also puts it into the event folder. And in that way, the file won't get overwritten. This button, as I demonstrated earlier, goes into the gallery. So you can, re you can review your recordings on the camera. The display goes, goes off to save battery power. And this button here goes into the, the menu system, which we'll look at now. With the display on, just a quick push of the on-off button will turn the display off, and it keeps the camera on, as you can see by the green light. If you hold that button in, it will, it will shut down the device. So let's open it again and go into the menu system. Okay, so we have four options. We can um, reset the device to how it, how it came out of the factory. We can format the SD card, and they, they recommend doing that fairly frequently. There are video settings and system settings. So let's look at those two. So video settings first. Okay, there's a sensitivity for the emergency video. So if you're involved in a collision, and the G sensor detects a collision, there are, you can set it at high or low sensitivity. Now, it's, it's up to you how you do this. Um, my, my wife was saying that with it on high sensitivity, if she goes over some rough road or some speed bumps, it sets off the emergency video, so maybe that's a bit too sensitive. Let's go back. Or you, you, can, also, you can also disable it if you, if you want, so you've got so it doesn't actually record a video if there's a collision, but that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Let's go back. Parking surveillance. I've covered this uh, in other videos about the 70My Pro. The functionality on this device is exactly the same as the 70My Pro, so you can disable it or enable it. Recording duration. Um, when the 70My Pro first came out, it had a standard one minute video length. And with a firmware update, it changed so you could choose one, two or three minutes. And that's the same for the A800. You can choose between one, two and three minutes. I've just got mine set to two minutes. Video coding. Low compression ratio is H.264 and high is H.265. Now, H.265 is more efficient, you can, you can get higher resolution, but personally I have a problem that none of my, my software will handle it, so I, I've just got it on low. So depending on which, on which ratio you choose, you can get different video resolutions. So with low, 
If we go into video resolution, we can get these two resolutions. And if we go back and choose high, we can get different video resolutions, including 4K. As I say, I've just got mine set to low. Let's go back again. Okay, video, video format, depending on which part of the world you live in, 50 hertz PAL or 60 hertz NTSC or 55 hertz. And speed latitude. So if you, if you want speed and latitude shown on your videos, you, which I do, you need to have this enabled. If you don't want the information, just disable the setting. Let's go into system settings to see the options there. And the first is the Wi-Fi hotspot. The Wi-Fi hotspot only has a very limited range of a, f of a few yards. And normally I'll have it disabled. And when I, when I want to connect to my mobile phone, I enable it and then disable it. Someone left a comment the other day asking if they could um, look at the camera from three miles away. And unfortunately, you, you, you can't. That, that range is very, very limited. The second option down is power on Wi-Fi. So, if I want that Wi-Fi hotspot on all the time, I can make it come on when the device power, powers up. That's something I, I don't want, I just use it occasionally. So normally when the, when the camera comes on, I don't want the Wi-Fi hotspot. Recording, this isn't very clear. I had another comment about this. Someone asked if they've got a dash cam, why on earth would they want to disable recording? And 70 My could have made this a lot clearer by calling this audio recording. So this, this option here just turns the microphone on and off so you, you can have sound as well as audio. I, I normally keep this one off. Um, ADAS, I've made videos in the past about ADAS for the 70 My Pro and the ADAS functions on the A800 are exactly the same as the 70 My Pro. So if, if you're interested in, in the, um, the ADAS functionality, go and look at one of those other videos. Screen off time. You would have noticed in this video that the, the display goes off and that's just to save battery power. So we can turn it off after one minute or 30 seconds or keep it on all the time. Uh, speaker volume. When, it, when the dash cam is installed in the car, it gives you various warnings. Obviously, obviously if you've got ADAS switched on, it gives you a lot more warnings and you can, you can choose the speaker volume. So high, moderate or low. Uh, this option here, turned off automatically in parking mode, is a new option for the A800. It didn't exist on the 70 My Pro, and it's quite a nice option actually. Let's go, let's go into that. So at the moment, it's do not turn off automatically. If I if I go down, I can have it turn off five minutes after stop, ten minutes, or twenty minutes after stop. And what this means is that with with my 70 My Pro. In my car, I've got it connected to an outlet that's always live. So that if I want to use the, the parking surveillance mode, there's power. And sometimes I forget to turn the camera off. I, I've, got, I've got a little rocker switch wired in, so I need to manually turn it off each time. And sometimes I forget, and it just stays on all the time. So potentially that could drain the battery. Now with the 70 My A800, you, you can set it so that if you have it connected to a live outlet and you, you stop the car and you don't go anywhere, the, the G sensor senses that there's no movement. And if there's no movement, it will then turn off the camera automatically after five, 10 or 20 minutes. So this is a, a nice little addition for the A800 that the 70 My Pro didn't have. Coming back again. Okay, system time. Um, you, you can set this manually or you can set it through the, the mobile phone app. Go back again. Okay. Uh, language. See how many languages we've got. Obviously, it's set in English at the moment. Next one looks like Russian. Is that Chinese? Um, maybe Korean, Spanish, Portuguese. And Japanese, I'm, I'm guessing with the Asian languages, that there's, uh, there's no Thai 
and that's the country where I'm in at the moment. Um, time zone, okay, I've got it, got it set up Bangkok, which is um, seven hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. And that's about it for the system settings. That was a very quick run through of the external controls and menu system for the 70 My A800. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below and I'll be quite happy to go through anything in more detail.